So I am here to take this apart. Last time I shut this, well, I screwed it all up. So, um, uh, without further ado, let's screw it. Let's undo it. I have already undone this screw a little bit. Let's just bring this tiny screw holder here. Ooh. That snap I didn't hear before. Maybe it was self tapping? Oh, self. Oh. The manufacturer didn't even care about how. This was. Let's get this undone. Just to know that's ready now. Uh, let me know if you guys notice any obvious light shoes. As I'm, uh, I'm using my bedroom light. This right there. That particularly did not sound good. So apparently, I think that's hot welded. There's a there's the antenna. Here's the microcontroller. A TX2C. A four zero six eight three five R. There is a couple of Zener diodes. There's an LED. Oh, what's this? A one point two micro Henry Henry's inductor. Or switches and then looks like a crystal right here with I don't know if that's a zero oh link or if that is a um uh, Uh, I don't know if that's going to be a, a zero ohm link or anything else, but I'm uh, noting the placement of that. I think they hot melted it. For a moment, I thought that right there. Do I have to bring in more light? I think I might have to. But that right there I thought was the ground wire, but then... I recognize it's a 9 volt PP3 battery requirement. Oh, that, that's where that that's where that particularly came from. Okay, just rip this right out in this business. It's actually quite interesting. You know? Setting it outside. The, the 
is have quite a lot of tactile pads. Oh, those are springs. I don't want to take it apart too much. It's just a general idea of how that fits on. Hopefully I don't forget this thing right here. You can probably already tell that it's already like literally full squinchy. Let's take this board out. Ooh, I think that might have been self tapping. Either that or I'm um, particularly a self tapping. Nope. It's just drilled a little too hard in there. Oh, let's bring this in. This extra for any other screws. Actually, I'll put that right there. So I'm uh, keeping note of that chip and this weird module. Take a look after I screw this. That's just pegged in. This is limiting it. Let's go back down so it doesn't make a butt ton of noise. This is what it looks like. We've hot melted that LED in, which is an red LED. There's the positive terminal. There's the negative terminal. I don't know why they have chosen violet. But um, if I were to send this over, to Big Clive, he would probably want this just so he can take and get a good idea of what the circuitry is. Yeah. I'm not. Do you see that? Let's get in the shot here. I might have to bring in the flashlight. But, um, uh, there's the lead of that that's not trimmed down a whole heck of a lot. There's about three millimeters hanging. And it's dang near touching that solder joint for that antenna. Very clicky. Oh, four, that's there. Yeah, these are some Xenar diodes right there. There's some diodes here. I think that's like a diode per, a diode per switch. I you know for that. This is quite interesting. Although I'm quite bothered about this blob here. You know what? This is a coil. L3. Red, black, gold. If I am correct, that gold is the Tolerance. Oh, 
there's all sorts of tiny little capacitors that I'm just fingering here. Oh, these resistors are so minute. 331, there's just a 130 ohm resistor there. Our capacitor is your transistor. Yeah, quite interesting. There's really nothing that I found yet uh, that needs a extension. This is quite interesting. That circuit board getting in that little wire crumb was quite a doozy. I saved you guys the time of just waiting patiently for five minutes while I'm fighting a circuit board in. But, um, uh, let's just get these screws in. Um, hopefully none of you guys didn't criticize me about this. I mean, like, literally. This is about half on my screw. This is probably about a five dollar controller. That is set to the right frequency. You, you could have a receiving ones tuned on the same channel at 49 megahertz and you can use it to like turn on, off, or lower, or makes the current incoming higher depending on the points. I would typically recommend a light bulb or a lamp. And just fair warning, I have not had a battery in this. So the moment I had earlier when I was fingering all sorts of capacitors, they were completely discharged from the factory, as far as I know. This has been donated from a friend of mine that actually plays hockey with my father. I'm trying to keep this in shot. Oh, uh, I totally forgot that. Let's just totally just stick this in. Uh, oh my, this is absolutely annoying. Uh, this is the ejector mechanism right here. Will it focus? No, it does not. Darn it. <sighs> Quite annoying if you ask me. Just turn off my brightness. Just use this. Uh, if I had a cheat sheet for adjusting. But yeah, that's actually quite interesting. I already attempted at this screw right here. Yeah. While I was taking it, taking and putting it back in, it had a scrunchy noise. So um, I don't know what was scrunching around in there, but there's all sorts of plastic as you can see right here. And if I were to move this, and if you were here. Yeah, not the best thing to take apart, especially if it more than likely has been taken apart before. Huh. And we'll see if this works afterwards. Uh, darn. So, um, uh, yeah, quite interesting. <laughs>